This video will use the fertilizer data to do a test of equal variances between the two populations, fertilizer A and fertilizer B. Remember our null hypothesis is that the population means are equal to zero, and our alternative hypothesis is that the difference between the two means are greater than zero. And so we can draw the T distribution because we're going to be doing a two sample T test. Remember the mean of the distribution is where T equals zero is the peak of the distribution. So we're going to calculate a test statistic that we can see here. But before that, we can look at the T table or we could use our software to find out some information. So here, our critical value will be where T with N minus one degrees of freedom at a level of significance alpha divided by two, which in our case is seven. Remember, we use the number of degrees of freedom minus one of the lower value. So one of the fertilizers had eight observations. So seven is our degrees of freedom at a level of significance of 0 0.05. Our critical value for T is going to be 1.895. And so we can draw where that might be on our graph. Here's where T equals 1.895, uh, right at this spot here. And so now we can then calculate the test statistic to find out where our value of T lies relative to these other values. And so here we have all the data. We know that T is going to equal 190.0, that was the mean of fertilizer A in bushels per acre, 190 bushels per acre, minus 151.9, that was the mean for fertilizer B, and we divide that by a lot in here in the denominator. 62.5 squared divided by eight, Remember, this was the standard deviation for fertilizer A was 62.5 bushels per acre. We square that value divided by the number of observations. And then we add to it the standard deviation for fertilizer B, 46.5 bushels per acre squared, and then divide that by 12. And when we calculate all the math, we'll get a value of T that equals 1.47. And so now let's look back to our T table and plot the value 1.47. Well, the value 1.47 is going to be less than the value of 1.895. So that's gonna be a value here. And so what then we can say is the conclusion of our test. So this is the important, because 1.47 is less than 1.895, we fail to reject the null hypothesis. That is, we cannot say there is enough evidence to say that fertilizer A produces more yield than fertilizer B. Now that's an important distinction. And so as we look back at the T distribution, to have rejected what we said, we would have had to find a value of T that was all the way over to the right of our critical value. Remember, we're saying that this is a one-sided test where mu one minus mu two would be greater than zero. If we found a value of T that was greater than 1.895, we could have rejected the null hypothesis. But instead, we favor the null hypothesis that is, we fail to reject the null hypothesis because our value 1.47 was less than 1.895. So that's the outcome of our hypothesis test. We could ask another question. What if we change our level of significance? What if now alpha is 0 0.10? In this case, when we look at the critical value, with seven degrees of freedom at a level of significance of 0 0.10, we can find a value for our critical value of 1.415. So let's go back to the T distribution to find where that is. 
and that value would be less than the value that we found. So here would be where t equals 1.415. Now we're running a, a hypothesis test, and you can see what happens when you increase the level of significance. What ends up happening is you need less evidence against the null hypothesis. And so now any value to the right of 1.415 will uh, will be an indication that we could reject the null hypothesis. And so what's the outcome? Uh, well, I've already written it here. Since 1.47 is greater than 1.415, we can reject the null hypothesis. Now we can say that we have enough evidence to say that fertilizer A produces more yield than fertilizer B. And so this is a, a useful concept that we'll do when we do hypothesis tests is that not only can the critical value of T change depending on your data from your samples, but it can also change based on what we set our level of significance to. And so that level of significance has a big impact in the outcome of any hypothesis test.